Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today I'm going to be reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 12, Dull Knife. So last episode, we focused a lot on Megami and Yuji. They were fighting these two brand new villains. And there was also like the guy like, you know, in the mask or the beanie, whatever you want to call it. He was also fighting, but they kind of had like separate fights. It was more Megami and Yuji versus one guy and the other guy versus the other guy. But while that other guy was fighting his opponent, his opponent actually turned into Toji. So now Toji is back and I'm pretty sure in last episode, Toji finished the guy off off unfortunately like i'm talking about like he's done dead i'll be very surprised if he lived through that toji beating but for the most part we focused on megami and yuji fighting off the other guy and we left off on megami and yuji just figuring out like you know what his technique is and how to beat him so for this episode i'm assuming we're gonna wrap up that fight and once they defeat this guy i have a feeling toji's gonna come down and try and fight both of them instead now and then toji will be face to face with megami so i wonder if they're gonna know who each other are if they're gonna recognize each other or if they're just gonna try and kill each other. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys want to see all these uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon. Link will be in the description. Without further ado, this could be Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 12, Dull Knife. Let's go. Hey everyone, just want to give a special thanks and a shout out to my Patreons for supporting me. Over on my Patreon, you'll gain early access to all of my uncut reactions on top of other perks. Check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. I don't get frustrated at my own failings. That kind of thing never has been. Not to me? And never will be a part of my life. Are we going to focus on him now? Yeah, it looks like it. Alrighty, like I said in the last episode, I know what happens, but I don't know how it happens. Confront the evils that force this reality upon us. Oh yeah, I forgot he passed and away. I, will. I forgot he was killed. Damn. Poor guy, man. Arrogant bastards. Damn. Okay, so maybe not. Maybe we're gonna focus on the non-me in this episode, and maybe... I don't think it'll happen in this episode, but we might see what happens leading up to that big moment. Like I said in the last episode, spoiler alert, I know Nanami dies. I just don't know how he dies or what happens and who kills him and all that stuff. I just know he dies. I just saw that one frame, that one picture of him where he's like looking over at somebody and he has like half of his face bloodied and that's it. It's just a picture that I saw. It's actually this picture right here. That is it. To be honest, I didn't even recognize that was Nanami until I, like, you know, the caption or whatever the video said it. So uh, let's see how he gets to that point. Don't think it's gonna happen in this episode, but let's see what happens. You are aware of my technique, aren't you? I have the ability to control crows. That's it. Sounds weak, huh? Stop. I'll pull out of this right now! I swear I will! Somebody Quiet. save me! You're interrupting my sister and she's not finished talking. No. Now I'll kill you. Wow, okay. I just wanted to kill some time chatting for a while. She's toying oh, with him. I won't be bad again. Please, please spare my life. I measure lives by their service potential. That's what matters. Oh, we don't see it. Okay, that's one thing destroyed. Oh, they got it all. Oh shit, the veil's up. So, okay, now they can go in. I think. How come only the veil that was keeping sorcerers out got lifted? Okay. They all should have lifted since we just broke three of these with Eno. Sorcerers can move freely in Shibuya mm -hmm. now. Now they can go in. That just leaves the veil that's trapping Gojo. And the veil that's trapping ordinary people. Okay. I wanted to ask this geezer more questions, but he won't wake up. Nope. We should rejoin Eno. Oh, is that his name? Eno! Huh? The wings, yep. He knows he's in trouble. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, he's being thrown. Oh. Is he alive? He's not even alive. Oh, no. Is Megami gonna meet him up on the... What do we do now? It won't hurt to keep Satoru Gojo out of play for a while longer. So go down there and kill as many sorcerers as you find. Trying to figure out if it's Toji or the grandson. So I'm struggling there. Who the hell do you think you're ordering around? There we go, that's Toji. Bag. There's Toji. <gasps> yeah. 
That's Toji. What's the meaning of this? I only channeled the body's information, not the souls. You're done fucked up. Okay. So that's what it is. So it's the body that and the body and the abilities that she takes, not the soul. No. She done that's fucked up. Impossible. Kill her. Kill sorcerers, huh? Kill her, kill her, kill her, kill her. You're a sorcerer. Kill her. Thank you. Alright, so Toji is actually back back now. Cause she fucked up and she actually took the soul with them and not just the body and the uh, abilities. Nobara, go with Akari to Ijichi. We can't use our cell phones in here, so we won't get anywhere without the assistant supervisors. I doubt that idiot Satoru would ever lose, but this whole situation is smelling even fishier. I'll take care of things here for now. How is he? Is he dead? He's not doing well. Okay, he's not dead, but he's... But he's not dead. Okay. Yeah, he's not dead, but he's out. not... He's a Dory. I understand how you feel, all right? But what's our highest priority right now? Rescuing Gojo. I'll take Eno with me and head outside the Vale. I'll go on ahead to the station. I agree that's the best course. But operating alone in Shibuya right now is it's not... It's dangerous as fuck, yeah. Stick together. See you later. Yeah! I wonder if we're gonna see Sukuna. Like, come on. Damn, she really killed him. Fix like, this. damn, come Looks on. like the Vale is gone. Oh boy. The thought of how much I'll get for making Satoru Gojo owe me a favor. Oh! It's a woman in a suit. Is it the the human dude? Uh, I'm so Yeah, happy. that one. I was getting sick. He reminds me of Mahito, man. but it's like a human form. Nita, you better go hide. Aww. She's going to hide. <laughs> Whoa! You must be throwing the match if you're coming at me unarmed. <laughs> Mm. Didn't I meet you before? God, that is so creepy. That reminds me of uh, the Adams family. Oh, the hand's going after her. Oh shit, is she gonna die? Girl, stop you chasing him. You know? Stop chasing him, dude. Let him come to you because he's just toying with you. Ooh, she's not gonna walk ever again. Or is he gonna kill her? Damn! Why is he going after her specifically? Too bad. Hairpin. Damn. Yeah, this thing this guy reminds me a lot of Mahito. Same annoyance level, same vibe, same stupidness. Nita! Damn! He just knocked her out, right? Yeah. Aw, did it hit your chin? Hey, can't you stand? Hello, you there? What are you after? By as much time as possible. Oh. She's trying to recover. Mmm, get him babbling. As long as I keep having fun, what else really matters? <laughs> right in the ass. You agree, lady? <laughs> Cut it out! <laughs> Damn. Is Nanami gonna save him? Why is he going after her specifically? Like... Oh, she's weak. That one hit really took a lot out of her. Yeah, she can't do anything. Is someone gonna step in and Watch save her? Step. Nanami? Nanami? Let's go, Nanami. Alright, Nanami. Let's go. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we're focusing on these two. I really wonder why that one punch really took it out of her, man. Because we've seen her sustain a lot worse than that, but just one blow to the face like that, it completely knocked her out. Well, not knocked her out, but it took a lot out of her to the point where she almost can't do anything now. And why is that guy specifically going after the other girl? Like, damn, there's like some personal shit going on there. And I'm kind of on edge in this episode and possibly the next if we continue the Nanami and the Bora story. I'm a little on edge because like, 
I said, I know they die, but I don't know how they die. So I'm kind of like thinking to myself, is this going to be the moment? Is this going to be the move? Is this going to be the attack that's going to do it? I have no idea. I'm kind of like anticipating it basically, but I'm also being like, oh, is he going to win? No, I don't know. I kind of hate that that shit was spoiled for me. Thanks social media. But I mean, it is what it is, but Nanami just walked in. So let's see what he's got. Let's see if he's going to defeat this guy because this guy is so fucking annoying. I swear him and Mahito are like brothers from another mother. They both irritate me on the same level, but let's see if Nanami can kill this motherfucker and I guess, yeah, that's it. Let's see what happens. The tie comes off. Ah, uh, that's where that scene is from, okay. He must have come to Shibuya with Bushiguro. <sighs> Nanami. How do those goggles stay on his head? Ooh, look behind you. How many are there? Allies and their locations. Ooh. Does nothing. <laughs> Damn, this man's like a fucking rock, man. <laughs> like, he can't do anything. Not a scratch. Number and locations of your allies. Now. <laughs> I... Damn. Yeah, and he knows where to hit him. He knows the weak points. Did I die? <laughs> no, Did I die? I have died without my technique. I, I have to run. Come on, another hit like that. Oh, oh, by the hair. The number. Jesus. Of your allies and their locations. He's not messing around. I told you, I don't know. Oof. Yeah, he's gonna finish him off. Just kill him. One less thing to worry about. Damn, by the throat. I can see why a lot of girls sin for Nanami now. Several of our assistant supervisors dead. That was you, right? Hmm. Yes, it was. I'm sorry. Kill him. Face. Nice. Damn, he has this man going through concrete buildings. I hope that's the last time we see that motherfucker. He's so annoying. Damn, he was not messing around. Well, well, well. It's you. That well, well, well reminds me of Kamala May, Harris. Well, it's well, well. Quite the thing to say after sending an assassin after me, Gato. It's not Gato. How is he alive? Does he have the cube on him? It's a shame that I'll have to kill you now. Hmm. And squash such potential. It's quite a shame. Genuinely. This Gato has got to be a fake. Okay. May, May. I think it's a shame too. To think I'd have to go after my former upperclassmen. I'll wait down this line. If you succeed here, I'll take you on next. Damn, okay. Domain expansion. This is going to be a little troublesome. Alrighty, let's see if she can do it. Well, how many years has it been since something has threatened my life like this? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right, Yuji. Yeah, he kind of just left Yuji. <laughs> There's absolutely no one here. I thought there was supposed to be a huge crowd trapped inside the station. He's still holding out after being sealed. That's so like him. <laughs> I want you two to wait here for the rescue team. I'll join Zenin and we'll head down to B5. I'm going to- No, you're not. She's gonna go anyway. Nabora's pretty smart. She may not have the strength, but she definitely has the intelligence. Like, she is smart. She's even impressed me. Yes! Yes! I've been waiting for this guy. Yuji Itadori. I will avenge my brothers! Oh yeah, he still has a grudge. Alrighty, now it's episode 12 of Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. So... Okay, we focus a lot on the Bora and the Nanami. I am not surprised that that motherfucker completely demolished him. Hopefully that is the last we see of him. I am sick and tired of these motherfuckers like him and Mahito constantly showing up, killing everybody, and like not giving a flying fuck. I just hate those types of characters, man. And I am not the only one, I feel like. I feel like Mahito has a lot of people that hate him. I am one of them. But we are leaving off with Yuji coming face to face with Choso. Choso is another character that I really want them to like expand more on. I know some of you guys said he plays a very little role in like a big 
thing that's about to happen. But Choso still has beef with Yuji, and he probably still has beef with Nobora, but Nobora's not there. He wants revenge for his brothers, and that is where we're leaving off. So for next episode, I feel like I feel like every single episode, it's gonna be shifting, like, focus on different characters. Like, one episode will focus on Megami and Yuji, the next will focus on Nanami and Nabora, and now we're shifting focus again and focusing on Choso and Yuji. So I feel like that's how these episodes are gonna go, really. That until we get to, like, you know, the big finale or the big whatever is about to happen in this season. I have a feeling it's gonna have to do something with Gato and Gojo. But for now, let's see what happens between Choso and Yuji. If you guys are enjoying my Jujutsu Kaisen series so far and you guys wanna see always uncut reactions early, make sure to check out my Patreon, link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future reactions. And again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.